Hello friends, this video on Vector Algebra Part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What we will study? We will study introduction to vectors, some basic concepts, types of vectors, addition of vectors, multiplication of vector by scalar, and product of two vectors. In product of two vectors, we will study scalar product and vector product. Before we even study vectors, before we start the chapter, let's understand why should we study vectors. I'll give you some examples from day to day life in our real life where we use vectors. The first thing you can see, you know aeroplane, when you travel in uh, by air, the whole aeroplane runs on vectors because when it moves, it has speed and direction. For example, I, you saw that this guy moved from here to here, right? So it has a speed, maybe some 80 km per hour, 20 km per hour, 1000 km per hour. Also direction is going northeast, northwest. So when I'm talking about the journey of a aeroplane, it has both direction and magnitude. And that's why it is vector. So we'll define vector also. Vector is nothing but something which has direction and magnitude. So in this case, if you see this guy, uh, the aeroplane is traveling, it has a speed, that is magnitude, some kilometer per hour and direction also. Similarly, if you see, you throw a ball, when you throw a ball from here to here, let's suppose. So, you threw with some speed, let's suppose 5 meter per second and you threw in this direction. This direction, if you see, uh, this is my north, south, east, west. So you threw it through in northeast direction, correct? So in this case also, when you throw a ball, you throw in a direction, you throw with the speed. That means you have a vector there. When you are browsing a map, when you say you want to travel from, let's suppose, uh, this is uh, India, let's suppose Delhi and to some place in America, right? Then you say, okay, I want to travel this distance, then this is my length, that is magnitude and direction, you can say that from here to here, you have some direction, maybe it is northwest, right? At some degree. So, when you say how far is this from this, you'll say that this is Delhi is this much from this uh, place and in this direction. Similarly, in field of science, vectors is extensively used, especially in terms of physics. When you are playing cricket, that time also if you see when you are bowling, you are bowling at a speed, also in direction because when somebody is bowling, you want to uh, he may give a white ball, he may give a correct ball, which uh, takes a wicket also, right? So in that case, the bowler bowls in direction and also he has, some, he has some speed also. Similarly, when the guy who is batting also, that guy also, when he bats, this guy when he bats, he hits the ball in a particular direction with some speed, right? Sometimes the, bowls, uh, the ball goes for six, sometimes four, it all because he hits with some direction, with some magnitude. So here also if you see in the field of cricket, when you bat, when you ball, vector is involved. You see these motors which you see, the here, this is all mechanical world. So this this can be a motor which which can be which is used for uh, pumping water, or it can be a motor in the car. All these use vectors because it talks about torque, it talks about the directions. So there we have vectors. When you play a carom, a very classical example, when you play a carom, so this is your uh, marble, this is your uh, th uh, black thing, you have to hit it. You hit this guy with some speed and some direction so that this goes in this force. So if you see this guy, you hit this and it went. Why? Because you have hit this guy with some speed and some direction and then it went. So 
when you play can that time also you are using vectors but you are not aware so so as you can see we use vectors in our day to day life when you are throwing a ball we use vectors when playing cricket we use vectors when you are playing carom we use vectors when you are driving a car also if you see in that case the motor and all is all based on vectors the engine the car engine if you are in the field of science we use vectors we are flying we are using vectors we are using maps to navigate from one place to another we are actually using vectors so what is this vector so vector is nothing but as i told is a quantity that has magnitude as well as direction so if something has magnitude and direction it is called vector the vector is represented by this arrow this is the tail and this is the head this is how we represent the vector please note that's why if let's suppose this vector is going inside the screen this will be represented by this way why because if you see this tail from this direction right so i think i drew this direction wrong yeah from this direction if you see what you will see is this kind of cross similarly if this vector is coming out of the screen it's coming out of the screen like this then it will have it will be represented by this fashion right because if you look this vector from this direction from this direction like this yeah from this direction this is your eye right then you will see a pointed object right and a circle i think which is for this so this is the representation of vector if this vector is coming out of this screen and this one if you see from this direction right is like this actually this is my eye i have not made it correctly this is your eye yeah so from this direction if you see you see this uh, uh, this uh, wings in this fashion so this is a vector which is going inside the screen and this is a vector which is coming out of the screen so that's the convention we use and for any direction other than coming out and going in we use the vector like this maybe this is one example this form these are all way to represent vectors correct and to, to note here the point a from the point a from where the vector starts called initial point so this guy is initial point point a and the point b where the vector ends is called terminal point as i told this is tail this is head right and the distance between the initial point and terminal point this distance is called magnitude so for this vector my this length is the magnitude right and this is denoted by ab two dashes so if my vector is ab right so my magnitude is this length if it is this is magnitude correct so what we have learned vector is something which has magnitude and direction so this is a vector it has a magnitude the length is the magnitude and direction which you can see is the direction so typically we can see all direction except these directions where it is when it is coming in coming out or going in so when it is going inside the screen it will be this fashion representation it is coming out it will be this fashion why because if you when it is coming out when you look at uh, this arrow it you will see only this point and uh, this point edges it look like this similarly when it is going in you will see this point. so that's how it is and for any vector let's suppose a light here vector ab so this is my magnitude and this direction is as you can see right a is the initial point and b is the terminal point so now having understood what is vector and how to represent vector let's see how can we classify some items which we use in our day to day life thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.